Good morning, I am Maria Sajji, I am one of the trainer from Let's Update Language Academy and this is Sanshan Anthony, student from Let's Update Language Academy and we are here for a mock speaking session. So at the end of the session, I will be providing some comments for the improvement. Uh, I already given her 3 minutes time for the preparation. So uh, I think you has prepared, right? Yes. So we will just move to the role play card. Yes. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I am Sanjal Anthony, one of the registered nurses working in the hospital outpatient clinic. Could you please tell me your name, please? Yes, you can call me Ria. Okay, Miss Ria, what brings you here today? Well, Nurse, yes, I am really worried about my daughter because she is having a frequent sore throat. So, I would like to get some advices for that. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that your child is suffering from sore throat. So, before going to the procedure, I would like to know uh, some more details regarding your child condition. So, can I ask some questions? Please move on, nurse. First of all, whether your child has taken any throat swab before? No, nurse. This is the first time. So, that's the reason I am really worried. Thank you for the valuable information. So, I would like to give some more explanation regarding the throat swab collection procedure. So, can I? Please move on. Thank you. This is a sample of throat tissue taken with the help of cotton wool bud and it's a quick procedure. During the time of the procedure, your child may uh, have uh, any type of sl uh, slight discomfort or uh, gagging. These are the minor risk of this procedure. Okay. Are you getting my points? Yes, yes that's really clear to me. Well, I strongly suggest that please stay with, the, with your child during the time of the procedure that will help to increase the child's psychological support and reduce her anxiety. Oh, that's really happy to hear that. Are you getting my points? Yes, Nurse. It's really clear. Uh, do you have any other concerns? Yes, Nurse. Actually, I don't understand that a taking a little bit of throat tissue can show what is wrong with my daughter. Oh, that's a genuine question from your side. I can understand your concern. I will explain the process. After the collection of the sample, it will be sent to the laboratory for the culture and the bacteria grow in there. On the basis of the chemical test, we will detect the causality or cancer and the type of the infection. Are you following me? Yes, that's really clear to me. But whether your child is using any type of mouthwash? No, nurse, my daughter is not using any kind of mouthwash. But please tell me why you need to know that. First of all, thank you for the valuable information because if a child is using any type of mouthwash that will alter the test result and it will kill the bacteria and the test result will compromise. Okay. So, uh, do you have any other queries? Well, nurse, I would like to know that what will happen if the throat swab shows my daughter has something serious? As a allowable mother, I can understand your concern but I am not an authorized person to give the prognosis of your child. On the basis of the test result, the doctor will give the appropriate treatment and management. So, uh, do you have any other concerns? Yes, nurse. Apart from this, I would like to know that when my result will be available. Okay, this is a genuine question from your side. The result will get within two days. After that, you take an appointment with the doctor and he will give the further treatment and management. Is there anything to be clarified more? No, no. So far, what has explained that's really clear to me, and I've really uh, gained more knowledge regarding this throat swab. So I think I clarified all your doubt. So far, we are discussing about the throat swab collection procedure. I think uh, you are you have get a clear picture about this procedure. Yes, yes. I'm really happy to hear this more information, and I think I'm feeling very comfortable. Okay, if you have any other uh, queries or doubt, don't hesitate to ask me. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Sanjal, so this is the end of our role play card and you did your part very well. So, your points, what has explained that's really good in a proper manner and responded well to all the questions. I have noticed some points that to be improved. So, firstly, there are some grammatical errors. Second, lack of reassurance. So, you can use some different varieties of reassurance that will be help to relax the patient during the role play card. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the valuable suggestions. Okay, Miss uh, Sanchal. I hope that the corrections will be very useful for the next uh, role play, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you.